Hey, it's me, Heather Tingle, your neurodivergent declutter queen, and you've just landed in the world of decluttering untangled, how to declutter when you're overwhelmed, ADHD or autistic. I want you to imagine something for a second. I am a professional organiser. My house in the past was full of chaos. Yep, you heard it right. I'm not one of those naturally organised people with a minimalist, shiny white home. Far from it. I'm a single mum that likes far too many cups of tea and I live with my teenage daughter and a menagerie of animals. Eight years ago, I lived in constant fear of people finding out that my house was in total and utter chaos. And I say house rather than home because I did all I could to not spend any time in it. There were rooms I couldn't use. I was always late. I was always stressed. I was always anxious. I could never find anything and I had a permanent floor drobe. I was a workaholic and a shopaholic with a bank balance to match. I learned strategies to declutter my home and I now live a totally different life. Now, although my house still gets occasionally messy, it takes seconds or a few minutes to set it straight rather than days or weeks. And I no longer panic when someone knocks at the door. I'm a naturally messy person and I'm always going to be. I'm not the type you'd see with perfect hair and makeup on on a magazine cover. If I wear a white shirt, I'm guaranteed I'm going to spill something down it. I drop my phone a million times a day. I'm more like the before photo in a makeover show. And that's because I'm neurodivergent, I'm autistic and I'm ADHD. So I get it when the world doesn't quite match up with your brain, when it seems that everybody else's house is Instagram perfect and it seems effortless for them. And that's because for them, it probably is. I understand that decluttering your space can feel like climbing a mountain when you're at the bottom scrabbling around with a whole circus inside your mind. The sensory overload, the constant juggling and the desire for a serene, calm home, it can feel utterly impossible. So let me make something clear right now. Decluttering Untangled isn't your typical organising show. It's about how to realistically work through your clutter and the mindset shifts you need to start to learn as you do it. It's not a quick transformation like you see on TV, but it is a lasting one. It's not about picture-perfect displays, meticulously edited photos, or Pinterest boards that are more a dream than reality with no idea how to get there. In fact, to be honest, it's not perfect at all. I've wrestled with that perfectionist monster too, the one that says everything must be highly edited and shiny and perfect, but I've decided something important. Done is better than perfect, and it's the same with this podcast. I could have waited until I didn't have a cold to record this. I could have waited until I could afford an editor. I could have waited until I knew every last thing about podcasting, but I haven't. Why? Because I believe people need to hear what I have to say. And I've got hundreds of clients that prove what I say actually works in real life. So here's what you'll find in Decluttering Untangled. We're talking real life tips, tricks and strategies to make decluttering your home not just doable in a short term fix, but sustainable. And let's face it, we've all done it. We've all gone on a binge declutter after tripping over something and thinking, I've got to sort this. And then you sort it and it either works really, really well, and but then it doesn't last. Or you get halfway through, get sidetracked. And then before you know it, you're going to bed with a heap of stuff all over your bed, which you've then got to throw back on the floor or put in another doom box or another doom bag. And then you feel even worse than if you hadn't started in the first place. So let's deep dive into how your brain really works, the truth of it, and how you can counteract its instinct to cling on to everything and make everything sentimental. This podcast is a little bit chaos. It's a lot of realness. We've got some messy adventures and a journey towards a calmer, clutter-free home. It's going to be short but sweet. The episodes are going to be no more than about 20 minutes long, even if I go on a sidetrack and ramble on a little bit longer. And that's because, let's face it, we've never got enough time in our house. We've never got enough time in our life. So I want these to be short, actionable things that you can go away and try and implement. And I'm your guide, Heather Tingle. Together, we're going to conquer your clutter, one doom box at a time. So hang tight. Decluttering Untangled is where done is better than perfect. And this podcast is proof of that. Please, if you can do me a favour, which really helps this show, it helps more people if you can like, review and subscribe because our first episode, Where to Start Decluttering, is just around the corner. Decluttering Untangled, 
how to declutter when you're overwhelmed, ADHD or autistic, because your clutter doesn't have to define you. You're not lazy. You're not a failure. You just need the right mental tools and support to have a beautiful home, a beautiful home that's right for you, not what anybody else thinks. And I will help you untangle your life.